Greetings 50p collectors, Coin Snatcher here. So against all odds, the Royal Mail managed to deliver one of many outstanding coins. <clears throat> I seen a postman today walking about delivering stuff. He had his shorts on and all I could think of was I hope you get frostbite. Bloody lazy bunch of idiots. Anyway, so this is my latest acqui acquisition, the latest set to join the Coin Snatcher collection. And this, as you can tell, is the Royal Mint 2010 Brilliant and Circulated Coin Set. Really, really nice. We've got all the small denomination coins. We've got the old round pound coin with the shield on it. And um, we've got a lovely version, lovely example of the 2010 Technologies two pound coin. So I have the 2009 and the 2011 uh, sets these are the definitive coin sets, there's no commemoratives in it. But the reason for buying this was no other reason other than it was cheap. So the key coin really in this set is the 2010 Brilliant Uncirculated 50p. And this is one of several 50ps that wasn't released for general circulation. So this is an NIFC coin not intended for circulation. And you have 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18 that weren't released in circulation. Now, normally I would think this coin goes for anywhere between 30 and 40 pounds. So I was able to pick up this whole set. And good thing with this is as well, it's unopened. So sealed from the day it was made in the factory at the Royal Mint. And I was able to pick up this whole set for the grand sum of £18.50p so definitely a snatch uh, worth every penny in my opinion already have the 50p but it never hurts to have a an uncirculated unopened set of coins like this in the collection as well so chuff to bits to get this I think £18.50 is a bargain price for this set uh, no intention of selling it I will pop it down in the shelf along with the 2009 and 2011 definitive sets but got to be the bargain of the week well the last couple of weeks really now speaking of the royal mail there are quite a few coins that are still due to arrive but i think they've probably been held up in the royal mail sorting office they're they've probably been slung under a counter somewhere or someone someone just hasn't got round to putting them in the postman's bag yet so he can deliver them and uh funny i had a postman come into my work today and he he was waiting on a delivery and i quite casually said to him oh it's not here because the people who deliver it to us are on strike he wasn't too happy really and i said to him you can't really be unhappy if it's okay for you guys to go on strike then it's okay for these guys to go on strike so uh he left the shop quite disappointed but Hey ho, what goes around comes around, you know. If you can't be arsed to get up and deliver mail to people that they've paid for to be delivered, not so nice when it's on the other foot and you come into a business and they don't give you what you want because the people are on strike. Or well maybe just maybe just too lazy to go to the warehouse and get it, you know. Retribution, I think, is what it's called. So it gave me an an immense feeling of well being to turn him away without his product because well if you're not going to deliver to me i'm certainly not going to get off my arse and get what you want from us what goes around comes around so there we go and uh good news as well came across a cyclist the other day that had managed to put himself in a ditch yep the road was icy frosty morning and this idiot was out at quarter past eight in the morning cycling and uh, basically stacked it so i pulled up beside him put the window down laughed at him put the window back up and drove off made my day still makes me giggle even now he was picking all bits of twigs and leaves off his lycra were really funny anyway that's it for this video peace and love coin snatcher out